The Very Hungry Hedgehog. This story is written by Rosie Willisley. Isaac the Hedgehog had slept through the winter, snug, safe, and curled up under the leaves. Time to wake up! Shouted Starling. Wake up, dozy friend! Come on out and see spring. Is this spring? Muttered Isaac. It's so sludgy and wet. Isaac crawled out from his long winter bed. That worm looks delicious. Can I share, feathered friend? Starling looked up from her breakfast. She laughed. Ha ha ha! Look at you! Bad hair day for a hedgehog. And still chirping and smirking, the bird flew. Bad hair day, thought Isaac, feeling hungry and hurt. She wouldn't look good if she slept all the winter, and she was his friend. Well, he would find his own food. So he upped and he offed and he marched into the world. A nose poked out of a hole in the ground. It sunk through the mud, warty and squat. Are you hungry too, Toad? Isaac spotted a beetle. Watch me. See how it's done. Hedgehog leant forward and stuck out his tongue. Flick. Oh, Toad, you gluttonous wretch! If you had asked, I would have shared. With hurt feelings and a hungry belly, Isaac squelched on. But here is a slug, sleek, slimy, and fat, so sluglicious. Breakfast at last, so tasty, so juicy. Swoosh! Oh, heron! Not fair! Isaac was ever so hungry. His friend Starling had mocked him. The toad was just mean. The heron had snatched. Why couldn't they share? Life had been better in bed. Isaac stopped. He looked around, and he finally saw. This is spring, he thought, which means slugs, hatching bugs, some fat grubs, and more. There must be food enough for a feast for us all. Then he found it. An earwig, best breakfast of all. His eyes rounded, mouth watered, jaw open. Ouch! Cried the fox, and oh! Went Hedgehog. As he fell back to earth, he knew Starling was wrong. I don't have hair; I have spikes. Not bad hair day, good spike day. And he bounced on the ground. The fox looked quite scared. "Don't touch me," he said. "That really hurts." "I'm not food," laughed the hedgehog. "Spring is finally here, and with help, you will find that there is enough food for us all." "Sorry for being mean, Starling." The end.